Okay. The DeLorean DMC-12 is the most iconic, misunderstood, and controversial car on the planet. This is literally my dream car. And I've been obsessed with this thing, I do admit, ever since I saw the movie Back to the Future. Especially realizing that it was a real car. Um, the topic of this video is why you won't see a DeLorean at a car show. Now, let me rephrase that. Um, I'm not saying that you will never see a DeLorean at a car show. But the chances of seeing one at a car show are pretty much slim to none. You know, there, I mean... You know, not saying you'll never see it, see one there, but, you know, the reason why you don't see a DeLorean at car shows is because the owners don't want to deal with the bullshit. Because this car, being it well known for the Back to the Future movies, all right, is very controversial because of its history and its performance. Um, since I obviously don't have one, I'd be doing it in real, real life. And basically this whole channel would be all about the DeLorean and other things, but I don't have one. So I got to work with what I got because the, the name of the channel would originally be called Dave's DeLorean Adventures. And I'd be showing reactions to people on how they react when they see the car and all this other stuff, but uh, there literally is no channel that's like that on YouTube. All right, it's just like driving videos and tech videos and all this other shit, but you know, if I own one, that's what I'd be doing. Anyway, so um, most car guys hate on the car because of its history and its performance. Um, you know, they're just like so uneducated about the car. If you really do some research and dig in, you'll find a lot of unique qualities that this car has. Okay, yes. First off, John DeLorean um, wasn't... The, the government set him up, okay? he You know, they said, oh, he got busted for drugs and stuff, but he was acquitted, okay? You know, and I personally think whether the man is innocent or not, I don't think he deserved what, what happened to him. He was trying to save his company, you know? And the performance on the car, I mean, it's not a slow car, and it's not a fast car either. It's kind of like in the middle, you know? And, you know, the engine is a PRV engine. You know, it's uh, basically a Volvo engine in it. The 2.8-liter so, V6 engine produces 130 horsepower. This helps the car reach 0 to 60 miles per hour in 10.5 seconds and achieve a top speed of 120 miles per hour. Actually, it really is um, 130 miles per hour. Okay. Uh, pending on, like, what kind of, like, depending on uh, if it's a automatic or a... Uh, automatic or a manual um also uh there's things in this video game which is uh fm4 it's like video is like 15 years old but you know um there's things in this video game that they don't they fail to mention all right i'm gonna that, that's gonna be another topic for another video but um like I said, the main thing here is why you won't see a DeLorean at a car show. Because owners um, don't want to deal with the bullshit. That's why. Okay. You know, once in a while you might see one, but mostly um, the DeLorean gets a lot of hate. All right. A lot of hate. It's basically an abomination to the car community. And when you show up at a car show in this thing, for the most part, people love it because of the movie and all that stuff. But other... People that are car guys that have like 50 other old cars or whatever 
and they hate on it because of its history and its performance, or they're just jealous because it's nicer than their car, and it's going to win a trophy or, or whatever. Because most car guys go to car shows for sport. They go to car shows to win a trophy or whatever. In my opinion, I would go to a car show just because it's a nice day, and that's it. I want to show off the car, educate people about it, and enjoy the day. Other guys are like, no, I want to win a trophy, all about sport and competition. Um, and me, I, I don't look at it like that. I, I go to a car show because it's, I want to go, it's a nice day, and, and that's it, you know? Uh, you know, another thing is, um, it's, I don't understand why, like, people always have to hate on this thing. I mean, you know, if you're thinking about buying a DeLorean, you gotta take the good with the bad, alright? You're gonna get the Back to the Future jokes a lot. The most common one, where's the flux capacitor at? You know? And that tends to piss a lot of owners off. And it just gets annoying. You know? Um, and... You know, with me, I have a lot of tolerance. I could deal with that kind of shit. But some guys will say, oh, my Prius is faster than this car. Or, um, oh, is there cocaine in there? And, and stuff like that, which is just which is bullshit, you know. And that's another reason why owners don't want to take the car to shows. Because they don't want to hear it all the time. That's all they hear. When they roll up to a gas station or... Going to the grocery store, they'll have a crowds crowds of people, and some of them will be will crack jokes like that, and you know. So, um, I gotta make this video quick. You know, I got much, I don't got much um, time on here, but anyway, that's basically what it is, and you know, this is definitely the most iconic, controversial car in the world. All right, so you like you love it or hate it, okay? And I hope to own one one day. Um, and yeah, I mean, you know, this is my dream car. I don't care. Most people or their dream cars are Ferraris, Lambos, or whatever. This is my dream car. You know, I mean, you get like guys with Ferraris and stuff that, you know, are like, wow, look at that, you know, and. And some of them even attract more attention in those cars. There's more people around the DeLorean than there is uh, the Ferrari that's parked right next to it, you know? Because it's such an interesting car. So, anyway, yeah, that's, I just wanted to make this video. I know it's, it's crappy or whatever, but, you know, um, yeah, so, you know what? If you go to a car show expecting to see a DeLorean, most likely one's not going to be there. But then again, when snow below moon, you might be lucky enough to see one. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Please like, some, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Later.